Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Daniel here, and this video, it's part of a full series where I'm gonna show you how to remove and install many panels on your 718 Porsche Cayman and Boxster. You're gonna see the rear lights, the rear bumper, the Porsche logo, the lower valence, the lower rocker panels, the side mirror and the exterior door handles, as well as the interior door panels. There's a lot of videos out there and they've even helped me get this apart, but honestly, the videos aren't that great. So I'm hoping that these are the videos you turn to. And if that's the case for you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'm here at Elite Auto Films where my car is getting some of the Expel Stealth PPF redone. And I didn't film taking these panels off, unfortunately, but I'm gonna be putting them on now. And in that process, I'm gonna help you understand how they came off and how to put them back on. Now also look forward to another series where I'll be doing the front bumper as well as all the associated plastics. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the exterior door handle, which is really important when you want a nice clean wrap and some shops don't wanna do it. So that's why I'm in here so I can get the cleanest wrap possible. Now you may not have noticed, but the 981 Caymans and Boxsters don't have the same door handle as the 718. So this procedure does not apply to those cars, but it does apply to the 991 911s. The door handle is mounted with just these two prongs and they each have a screw that go into them. Now to remove these two screws, you do have to remove the interior door panel. It's one of the easiest panels I've ever removed off a car, only held on with four T30 screws, which happens to be the same type of screws that hold the door handle on. Like I said, the procedure's pretty easy, but I can walk you through it in my other video. There should be a link at the top right corner of your screen or down in the description. And before you remove the door panel, raise your window completely. That will be necessary. And I suggest the opposite window be taken down just in case you have some issues with a door handle. Once you have the door panel off, you'll find this rubber insulating panel. It's held on by all these white clips. Now they look a little mysterious, but you've seen them before. They just look a little different. They're just like these clips, but they have no head. So all you need are some needle nose pliers, grab the stem and pull the stem out, and that will allow the clip to release. Usually you can pull the whole thing out all in one shot. You'll need to remove most of these clips to give you nice, easy access inside the door. I removed some, but then I ended up removing some more. Let's take a look inside there. This is the back side of the door handle. And then all the way over here on the left is a silver screw. That's a T30 screw. That's the B in this picture below. All right, and then we gotta look for the A screw. It's right over here. You see two screws here, but don't mix them up. It's this one right here. You won't have much trouble getting screw A off. I used my electric ratchet from Milwaukee, but getting to the other one, it's pretty darn tight. In fact, I suggest you wear gloves to protect yourself from sharp edges, and I hope your hands aren't too big. You might wanna use this low profile T30 ratchet. I use the same one for removing the engine cover. I'll have a link down in the description for it. You might be able to get away with a power driver and one of these 90 degree DeWalt driver adapters. Or worst case, a quarter inch box and wrench is the perfect size to hold one of these T30 bits. Also the coarse threads of the screw going into the plastic make it kind of tight. So it's a little tedious, I will admit. Just remove those two screws and there's no need to disconnect the cable. Now you might think, hey, I got the screws out, the door handle should come off. No, you need to release these little releases. I don't know what to call them. They're little pieces of plastic. Just catch them with a pick or a really small screwdriver. I think you need to lift them up if I remember correctly and then the door handle will come right out. And here's an image of the inside of the door with the handle removed. There's no special trick to installing the door handle again. Just make sure it's turned the right way and then hold it in place while you try to get those screws started again. But again, it's a little tough in the tight space, especially the one that's deeper in there. They are just metal screws and plastic, so don't go crazy on the torque, but they should be fully seated. Once you're done, verify the operation of the door handle before putting things back together. If everything's good, put the door panel back on. 
I think you'll find that after watching this video and performing the procedure on one door, the other one's gonna take you literally less than 10 minutes. All right, folks, that's it for removing the exterior door handles on your 718K meter boxer. I hope you found this helpful. It will ensure that you get fully wrapped in the door cups without any seams or extra little cup ovals in there. Uh, I'd like to thank Elite Auto Films for letting me film in here while they do the wrap on my car. And if you found this how-to helpful, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified of future Porsche content. Thanks so much for watching the Jeff Beolman channel. We'll see you next time.